Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I make scrapbooking process videos, and also do live scrap and chats every month. I hope you enjoy my little corner of the big crafty world, and if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to always know when I have a new video. If you could also give me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Alright everyone, let's start scrapping! Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be scrapbooking a one photo layout, but the photo is actually a five by seven. This was my nephew's yearbook photo. Um, he's now a junior in college, so I'm a little late scrapbooking this, but really all that matters is that you get the memory down. You don't necessarily need to get it down within a certain time frame. I will say I'm scrapbooking this one photo. He did do like a whole senior picture um yearbook photo shoot type thing with a family friend who's a photographer and I plan to do one of those um simple stories snapbooks with the photos and I'm hoping to use this line the indigo and ivy I actually don't know if I have enough left to do it we shall see uh but I will do a flip through flip through of that when I finish it which most likely won't be for a little bit but it'll be a nice simple one because it won't have a lot of journaling because it's just a photo shoot photo anywho let's go ahead and uh, get started on this layout before I put you guys on fast forward if you could just uh, flip me a thumbs up that would be super awesome and let's get going all right, so these are one of those page kits I had put together uh, using the Indigo and Ivy line. I'd also added, I don't even know why I added the alphas from that came out with this line, but I had also added those Vicky Booten Word um, puffy stickers. And I knew I wanted to use the phrase this photo as my title. So I don't exactly know why I put that. It was funny because I was actually looking for the blue stickers that came out with these. I couldn't find them anywhere because they were in a page kit. All right, just random letting you know of that, of my weirdness. All right, so I take my five by seven photo and I mat it on this weathered wood pattern paper. And I do a pretty chunky mat. I've been into chunky mats lately. I don't know why, it just, it's been a thing. Um, and then I'm going to use this navy um, hand-drawn line of horizontal pieces of horizontal stripes pieces, lordy. Uh, horizontal stripes. I know it's super dark, but I'm going to, as you see, use two chunky layers of mats, and then my embellishments are on the lighter side. I really like this paper. I love the movement of it and thought it would work well. And I really do like the way the layout turned out. I didn't want to use the floral because it didn't make sense to me. The photo is taken in the fall. My nephew's not super into flowers at all. I have used flowers on layouts with him before. And then especially if there are other people in the photo, uh, but just not for this particular one did I think it was going to work. So I decide I'm going to ink up the edges. I had kind of gotten out of the habit of inking up edges. And now all of a sudden I'm kind of going back 50-50. Some of my edges get inked up, some of mine don't. I, um, it's just a, you know, something sometimes I think about, sometimes I don't think about it. So I go ahead, get the first layer down, and then I'm just going to trim off the parts that, um, obviously hang up or hang over that aren't the same size and go ahead and ink that up. So I use Hickory Smoke Distress Ink as my default ink edging ink. For some reason though, my Hickory Smoke Distress Ink is always dry. It's the only Distress Ink I have bought the reinker for, and it's already, and I reinked the heck out of that thing, like probably too much, and uh, it's now once again, it is dry. And so it's so weird because all of my other distress inks and all of my other distress oxide inks are perfectly fine, have never required me to re-ink them. I don't necessarily use them super often, but, you know, I just don't understand it. The one, you know, and it's not like I use it all that often. And really all I use it for is to ink edges. So <laughs> it's very odd. Let's move on with the layout. I took that frame that came in the die cut pack for this line and I split it in half and I'm going to use that as kind of the base for my two embellishment clusters. And then in the upper left hand side on that wood 
grain label sticker. That's where I'm going to stick my title. Since I'm going with a dark background and then I'm going with a black title, I did need to find some way to make that visible. And I chose to use that label. So I'm getting everything glued down. Now those cork, uh, craft, and orange leaves are actually, were actually a gift from Beth Nall, who's one of my followers. We did an exchange. We're both patrons of uh, Heather's Crafty Life, and we had kind of like a gift exchange um, that was going on. So we traded scrappy goodies and some other goodies, and I loved these. Now, they're kind of big, and I debated about whether to use all five on this layout, but it didn't make, like, it didn't make sense to me to not use them because then I just have this random cork leaf or a random orange leaf <laughs> just kind of hanging out in my stash. And I knew I would most likely never use it again unless for some reason I thought, thought to use it on a card. But the cardboard ones are corrugated and the cork ones... I really wanted to use the cork ones, just to be honest. Um, so I thought the corrugatedness of them would make it kind of too thick for a card. So I'm going ahead and getting my title down, which is this photo. It's one of my favorite photos. Now, I don't know if you can tell or not, the shoes he's wearing are Spider-Man sneakers. And, you know, I said to him, you should wear those. We, he had real, he had like dress shoes too. Like you should wear those because he, he would have been debating about it. I'm like, you should bring them. There are, there is nothing you have loved more your entire life, you know, outside of your family and stuff like that than Spider-Man. He has always been a Spider-Man dude. Um, there's a year when he was four where, like, when I was scrapbooking his four-year photos, almost every time he was wearing some sort of Spider-Man shirt or sitting in a Spider-Man chair. Um, <laughs> so I'm like, I trust me, I think that is, like, the cutest thing. Um... So there's some other photos where you can see them more clearly, but I wanted to scrapbook this particular one because this is the one we chose. We chose. He chose um, to go. He wanted my input, and I narrowed it down to three, and then he picked the final one. Um, but this is the one he chose as his yearbook photo, so I wanted to highlight this one. And like I said in the introduction, I do plan on using – actually, I already own – I've already – printed out all the photos and I already own um, the snap album. It's one of those six by eight ones. Uh, so I can do the project whenever I just have to do the project. <laughs> That's something where it's like, I have one more page kit put together with the indigo and ivy. And so I want to do that page kit. And that way I have all of the scraps and all any leftover embellishments before I start that project. Now from the Vicky Booten puffy sticker thing, they're more like enamely because they're shiny. Uh, I pull out two hearts and then that heart with the arrow. I, want, I, I wanted, I wanted to add some more orange because there isn't any orange in the papers, but there's a ton of orange in the photo. I really wanted to bring that in. Now I'm also bringing in these acrylic they're not acrylic. They're, well, I, I actually never know what to call these things, but they're see-through. And so I only put glue on stuff I can tuck under and I'm layering those over the photos and um, they're just, you know, inspirationally phrases and, you know, you know, so proud of you. And I don't remember actually what they say. And I've already put this album away. I've already put this layout away. So, um, but they're all from Indigo and Ivy. These are, like, I didn't pull anything else in besides the Indigo and Ivy and the Vicky Booten, which aren't two collections you would think would go together, but they really did in this case. So I'm adding one more of the acetate. That's the word. Heavens to Betsy. I could not figure that out. All right, so the acetate pieces along with that chipboard piece. And I've also got several stickers. I'm going for really big clusters. Um, I didn't want to use tiny clusters in this layout because my photo is so big and there is so much room around him that is nature. And not that you should cover up the nature, but I didn't necessarily think it needed to be all encompassing. So I add those glasses. He wears glasses. I add a little sticker that says stay golden. Then there are two diamond stickers and I add one at the top left and one at the bottom right and then I've got I 
think it's, oh, it's a, a little heart in the center of a square. And I just kind of tuck that behind the frame over on the right hand side. The last thing I'm going to do after this is I have some Dina Wakely glossy white, oh gosh, what's it called? Um, enamel spray or something along those lines. Gloss spray in white. And I wanted to add that. I want, ooh, sorry. I was trying to look at it and I just dropped it. Uh, I was trying to finish up and add some sprinkles, but obviously the dark paper. That is it for me today. Thank you so much for joining me. If, once again, you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Bye, everyone.